Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Tuesday, September 17th, 2013. Okay, scheduled announcements for today that may be market affecting is CPI at 830, um, this Treasury International Capital thing at 9 o'clock, and the Housing Market Index at 10 a.m. Um, we'll see how that happens. I think that probably the whole thing about who's going to be the next Fed chief is probably more market affecting than anything else right now because the market wants to see QE continue indefinitely. Otherwise, there's going to be a huge correction. All right, around the world, Asia, um, Almost down, down everywhere across the board here. I don't count. This is flat here, Singapore. So is Sensex. Uh, but everything else is uh, down. Eh, not a lot, but enough. Enough to uh, take notice. In Europe, everything is looking very bearish there as well. At uh, pub time over there. So here in the U.S., we're looking at well, pretty much flat open right now. Um, nothing uh, really scary here at this time. Gold is um, still bouncing off that 1300 mark. That's not a very significant move up here. Oil's down. It's approaching our 105 elevated expectations. Remember um, 100 was uh, the ideal but I don't think we're going to be seeing that again for a very long time. All right um, yesterday you can see that well first of all I want to tell you every trigger went off yesterday uh, very early in the day and if we look up here See if they're still here. Yes, we have uh, 931 40, 41, 932 11, 947 11, and 952 49. They all went off before 10 o'clock. Big gap up in the morning, and every one of them pulled back, including Tesla. But I did get into Tesla, I figured it was the strongest looking out of the bunch that I looked at and we'll take a look at them on the charts here uh, let's go over to the A plus list right away and we had Google so we'll look at Google's chart and this is the way it looked it gapped way up right away in the morning and did nothing but sink the rest of the day so I didn't want to be touching that one we tried to anticipate this hook here. Uh, obviously, we didn't get it. So we're still waiting for that one to develop. I'm not going to be looking at anticipating anything today on that. We're going to wait for it to come down and hit its little target. And then we had Netflix trigger. Take a look at it here. And it did the same thing, gap up and then sink the rest of the day. So we're still waiting for this target down here. Not sure exactly what's going to happen here. Maybe the percent K will uh, turn back down again. But percent D is definitely um, heading down. So we'll see what happens. It can That type of thing can happen if it has a really bad day. But we're still waiting for the hook and for confirmation. Next trigger was on Amazon. And really these things, they all pretty much look the same. Uh, again, a gap up at the open and a sinking. We're still looking at our target here though, so we're still good. Not giving up on it at all. And then last but not least... Well, not really, because Goldman is last. Let's look at Goldman. Um, right here. Alright, so Goldman actually looked pretty good yesterday. Um, 
I still took a pass on him. So now today, Goldman is going to be on my list. So I might as well put this in here right now. I want to get a, want it to get above these uh, highs on these candles right here. So this is my first alert right away, right off today. And there it is. Alright, so we can skip that one. So let's take a look at Tesla, which actually uh, Goldman looked a little bit stronger than Tesla. At least we got into the second candle here, which closed at uh, about noon. And that's about when I got in. Um, if we look at uh, the time here, eh, I'm not going to be able to get it. Let's squish these down here a little bit. I can't get my mark. It's below here. Let's move this over a little bit so we can get some prices here. Okay, so now when we get this and we can say edit properties and it was 1255 or this candle right here um, that I got in on. So it was looking at the time pretty good. Uh, but didn't really unfortunately turn out that way for the rest of the day but I think we're still okay because if we were to take a look at the chart for like this morning here um, we have a print here and here we have another print and that is at 166 even so we should be okay there on that not worried about it <clears throat> much at all. So we're the other one that I got into is SPXPM, and I wanted to just uh, take a look here at what my choices were. So when I went and looked at this yesterday, um, the the one that I chose. The 1680 is up here, and it was um, at the time 1685 was had the 20 delta, and I didn't like 1685. 1680 was around 19 delta at the time, maybe 17. I think it was 17 at the time, so I picked that. Uh, I wanted to just keep a little bit away. I want it to be underneath um, these lows down here. So that's why I picked that. I uh, just felt it was a, it's another 5, and so I felt a little bit better about that. The day still closed up, so that's okay. We closed here at uh, around 16.97. And it opened at 1691, so it was a okay day. And I got in at 12:51, which would have been yeah. So it would have been this candle right here is where I got in. Worst point of the day, right? And it always figures. But I waited. You know, I figured that something, I wanted to see if it was going to get weaker in the afternoon. I should have waited just a little bit longer. But hindsight, as we all know, is always 2020. Okay, enough of that. We can get right into the scan right now. We can skip a couple. All right, Apple. I didn't have an alert on that yesterday. Okay, so Apple, whoa, holy mackerel. That is scary for Apple, isn't it? I would say. So what are you thinking about Apple? Well, let's see how it's doing here. Uh, it's holding its own overnight. Lost a little bit, but seems to have bottomed out. Definitely is going to be a gap down at the open, though. At least uh, looking at it right now, there is no play here. Um, I'm taking this target off. 
it's, it's just too much of a reversal going on here. So we'll just move on, <laughs> right? Okay, uh, we already did Amazon. Let's go to Baidu. Uh, still waiting to hit our target there. Celgene. Uh, we're gonna just gonna move our target. That's all. Still valid. It didn't have a very good day yesterday either, but. Yeah, it has those kind of days. It recovers from them. It took me a long time to realize that um, that there's going to be good days and there's going to be bad days. All right, so we have CF. This is looking pretty powerful for CF. The close above this high. This is looking pretty good, actually. So I'm looking to get above these candles here with an alert. So I'm alerting CF. And we can just, oops, I don't want to do that. Just kind of move this over here and just stretch it out a little bit. Because really that's a valid one, right? Where we went well below, both of them went below um, 45 here, or 40 should be 45 and um, looks like percent D is even going to give us a hook so this is looking pretty good how are we looking over here very strong on the weekly strong here on MACD just strong 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 so kind of liking that liking that very much so this should this should be a good one for today it should be fun all right, next is uh, Chipotle. Oh, we have a long ways to go for this target, don't we? So we're still waiting on that. Um, we already covered Google and Goldman Sachs. We'll just zip right down to LinkedIn. Wow. This, uh... Alert is no longer valid. That was a very bad day for LinkedIn. Uh, our target, however, is still valid, but the alert is going to probably be much lower. So if it does a turnaround, it's going to be uh, a better entry for us. However, however, folks, this is looking pretty bearish here. Um, I'm going to put a note here. I just want to come back later and see if it's uh, let's put a note here. And I want to put the arrow on the other side. Hide the arrow. No. Edit properties. Uh, hidden arrow. Yes. Alignment. Left. Let's make it right. Okay. Now when we come back here and we look at this, we can see, well, did all this stuff pan out? All these indicators, all this um, signs here that are telling us that this is looking very bearish. So, yesterday when I thought we weren't going to ever close this gap here, we might keep that in mind. Okay, uh, MasterCard. We have a target down here, um, which we're going to move over and probably turn into an elongated one like that. So we're going to wait for it um, looking pretty strong all across the board here except for um, a short-term 
MACD here on the daily is bending down. Uh, Netflix we already covered. Priceline. Priceline also looking bearish. So I'm going to put a note here too. keep hitting enter thinking that it's going to give me an okay but it doesn't so I'm going to go here and change this because well first of all the red doesn't look very good so I'm going to change it to white and they don't this little thing here they don't have a true white or a real white so I have to come over here and pick the white off of there which is kind of irritating and I want to put the arrow on the right and I'm going to save that as default. So we'll see if that one pans out as well. And uh, let's see here. Tesla, we're already in. We'll take a look at Visa. Let's see if it looks as bad as MasterCard. It actually looks a little, well, about the same. Uh, not seeing anything here. This, uh, little hook up here. We have a gap to fill here. I don't know if we're going to come back and fill it or not. Okay, so actually let's go back and take another look at SPXPM. I don't believe we ever really looked at the chart on this, but we have confirmation here and we have confirmation here. We have confirmation here and a little hook up here and of course we have our PPS up. So that's looking pretty good. And we'll see if it lasts the end of this week. And I did only get in, I only did two. I would like to have done more because I always like to get more money. Uh, we all like to get more money, but I'll be happy with, you know, the $120 here, not including transaction fees, which is very small. And we have 880 at risk, so we're at about our 10%, uh, you know, or we're risking 90% to make 10%, I guess you could say. Or a 10 to 1 risk reward, roughly. I like to have it maybe like 5 to 1, but I think 10 to 1 is okay. It's a minimum. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.